Hey guys, it's Scotty here. Today I got something in the mail and I think some of you might be interested in this. So I thought I might share it with you. So uh, here's my unboxing. Enjoy. Okay, so this came from Mgrate in China. They're one of the more reputable uh, um, AliExpress sellers. They've been around for a while and they've still got a good good rating um, and it got here uh, in fairly quick time to Australia so um, that I was happy with that um, the biggest hold up was actually the Australia Post side of things uh, it got here about a week ago and it took about a week to get to me so um, there you go alright so we'll see what this is I've already opened this part of it so and I thought this was pretty cool look at this an excellent little padded bag it's really spongy I like it I, I think I might um, might get some of this from my own products so anyway and then we have you might already see what it is ta-da <laughs> okay so it's a crane 2 motion sensor remote control with follow focus or as um, as the with the code name ZWB03. So nicely packaged, wrapped in plastic. Okay. Hmm. It's got that uh, familiar Zion sort of smell, um, kind of stinky. I think um, some people sort of uh, <laughs> uh, thought it sounded it smelled like ashtray or gasoline, and um, it's almost got a, it's got almost got a bit of a new car smell but a nasty new car smell okay so I've got a little user guide packing list remote control mount, mounting buckle for monopod a, a rod micro USB cable and a lanyard Shows all the mounting. Okay, I'm sure you can all get this on on a PDF by now. So I'll just uh, put that aside. Okay, something to eat for later. And this is the uh, USB cable. Lanyard. Hmm. That's actually kind of nice. All metal. With this little uh, quarter twenty piece on top. Okay. Now, here we go. Here it comes. Oh, it's pretty firm in there. I might have to take it out of here. There we go. All right. I was wondering how this bit attaches on the back here. That's interesting. It looks like it's got a little. Oh no, it's a um, it's a quarter twenty, which is good. Good for me. Okay, there you go. And it's also got a 
quarter 20 in the bot in the bottom as well nice joystick big range of movement trouble I wonder if it unscrews no it doesn't makes you worry if you're putting things into bags and stuff if um, if you can't detach this it could get damaged or well, maybe it does I oh, know I'm not gonna not gonna force it today <laughs> not when I first get it okay so there's G mode and sports mode it's interesting um, I have to look at the uh, user manual to find out what those two are I'm, I'm guessing sports mode is just the uh, more, uh, more um, rapid sort of uh, rapid pans that kind of thing like uh, so that's handy to have um, access to rather than having to grab it on the um, yeah and it's got the same dial selectable buttons mode button power button and here we have this follow focus knob which is really quite nice it's got like a silicon like I, I've seen pictures of this and it's uh, something that um, glows in the dark once it's been energized by some light so and uh, typically um, for those of you that haven't used a follow focus before you would uh, you would put lines soft soft stop lines for your, t your different marks <clears throat> once you've set up a shot so you'd use a, a texture of some sort and mark it here and mark it here and then you'd know exactly how visually how far to go between between your, your focus pulls okay so let's see if it'll turn on okay there we go just try and tilt that so you can actually read it okay it's saying plug it's showing a message to link I'm assuming And I'll, once again, I'll have to go into the manual to work out how to do that exactly, but it um, shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so that's that's basically it. Um, I'm impressed. It's it's nice and solid, which is good. The the other remote control, the uh, ZB, so, sorry, the ZW02, is actually a much more flimsy plastic, um, th much much thinner plastic remote control whereas this is very solid and that actually gives some possibilities that um, that maybe I hadn't considered before you see I'm using this uh, to build a number of rigs and because uh, as some of you might know we also make rigs for gimbals and what I'm looking to do is to integrate this into the rig um, so that'll be really interesting actually I think um, we can come up with some really interesting solutions with this so I'm looking forward to it all right guys that was just a quick video just to uh, unbox and uh, show you everything I'll just quickly show you this little doo-doo whacker <laughs> on the back there and there's also oh there is something else in the box a couple more things I'll grab the whole foam piece out because otherwise I'll never get them out. Okay, so there's a clamp, uh, two three eighths attachment points, and two quarter twenty attachment points there. And this can attach to this 15 mil rod it's a bit of a shame it's not threaded on the inside so you can't attach it to um, other 15 mil rods so that would that attaches on the back of this like so and then this can attach to something 
um, for instance, the uh, the dual handles. Um, goes through there or that way, depending on which, however you're orienting everything. And then you can adjust this, the position of this by sliding this along this, this pole. And you can also slide, I'll just open this up. And you can also slide that along as well to reposition it if needed. Okay, so if you've got more of these 15 mil rods, then um, you might want to get a, a longer one. So it gives you a few more options if you're using the dual handles. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this now. Um, it's much more substantial remote than I thought it was going to be. So still, I haven't tested it out yet. We haven't used it. So um, I, I will do a quick video just showing you how it works and um, get back to you soon. All right. See ya.